But man, I'll tell you what, this is like the emperor of lawnmowers. This thing is absolutely awesome. Welcome back, everybody, to Farming Simulator 22. I'm an old guy gaming, and uh, I just finished a, a small uh, baling, silage baling contract, made about four grand or so off of it. Um, and then I logged, uh, I, there were no more contracts, so I logged out, logged back in, there was no contract, so I logged out, logged back in, there was no contracts, so I logged out, logged back in, et cetera, et cetera, right? And I'm going, what the heck, man, this is, this is stupid. There should be contracts all over the place, especially this time of year when there's fields to harvest and all of that. So guess what I did? I took a look at the mods, and there is a mod out there that some of you probably are already familiar with called Better Contracts. So I looked it over, and I decided to install it because it allows me to clear contracts and then basically refresh it and keep doing it until something pops up before, you know, without having to log out. Uh, it didn't look like there was anything that was OP about it. Um, overpowered uh, about it and uh, there's some other th perks too like you can have more than three and you can sort stuff and and um and a couple other things too so it looked good to me it didn't look like you know it was it was it was a game break or anything like that so now we have better contracts and look at this this is a 21,848 uh, contract to uh to do this field now the thing is though um, details on, well, that's kind of neat. This is new too. Profit from harvest. We're only going to make a profit of 1,846. Wait, what? That doesn't make sense. Unless they're talking about the extra that I get at the end. I'll bet you that's what that is. I bet you that's what that is. Where's the option, though, to use my own uh, or use their stuff? Or did, does this mod remove that? Mission type, net profit, profit per minute. Uh, okay, wait a minute. Also, where is the option for me to accept this contract? Oh, wait a minute. Did I already accept it? If, if I did, I didn't mean to. You know what? I think I might have uh, hit accidentally hit the wrong button <laughs> because I'm a, uh, you know, I'm 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 using my wheel and my new side panel and just loving it, man. If you guys play this game and you can at all afford to get a wheel and a side panel, I would do it. It's it's just it makes this game so much more fun. It's I spent you know a long time yesterday too. Um, mapping all the keys and stuff. Anyway, that's beside the point. It looks like I accidentally hit a button and accepted it when I didn't mean to. So here's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to clear contract. Uh, so I guess I have to cancel this one. Yeah, yeah, whatever. We failed it. So what? Um... <laughs> Um, okay, so then what we want to do is new contract. Uh, uh, okay, wait, let's just go back first and then back into, uh, oh, it's still there. Well, okay, I guess we have to collect it. So we collected zero. All right, now, if I just repeatedly spam new contracts, oh, you know what? I know what happened on that one contract. I was just going, I was just hitting the button really quickly. And then when I, and then I, I hit it one too many times and accepted it. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Look at this. Uh, this is a 24,000 contract and it's a big field. I, I happen to know the field 71 is a very large field of hay. It's probably the biggest field of hay in, on the whole map. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to use, we're going to use his stuff because here's the thing. Um, we're going to lose $1,900 by using his stuff, but he's got some really high-end haying equipment. And I have a, and because this field is really large, our stuff, you know, the stuff that I own is really more for smaller fields. It, is, it would just take forever and a day, plus all the wear and tear on our equipment uh, and the gas and everything to do it. So I think we're going to go ahead and use his stuff, and we're still going to make, you know, a tidy sum of money off of doing this. Okay, so let's go ahead and do borrow items. 
and we've accepted the contract now. And uh, yeah, this is going to be fun. Okay, so let's uh, back out of here. And what we're going to do is hop to our tractor. So I, I, I'm at the animal seller place right now because I just dropped off those, um, you know, that smaller thing I did first. So what we're going to do is I don't think he provided us. Yeah, no, there is a, a way to haul it, isn't there? Yeah, there's there's a bale pickup thing. Okay, so what we're going to do is uh, head back to the ranch and um, we're going to drop off all of our stuff and then use his equipment to do this. So this ought to be fun. We're going to be able to use some of the larger hay equipment that we haven't used yet. If this was just another small, um, you know, just a, another small contract, I wouldn't have brought you guys back. But because, you know, we're going to be using new larger equipment on a larger field, I'm going to show some of this. I'm not going to show the whole thing. Uh, well, at least I don't think I will. If I do, then I'll time lapse it and put some tunes on for you and stuff. But we'll see how it goes. But I'm definitely going to show you enough of it so uh, we can all see how the new uh, equipment works. Let's use our stick on our side panel to get the, that up out of the way. Oh, man, I'm just loving the side panel on the wheel, you guys. Just amazing. Anyway, okay, I'll meet you guys out at the field. Uh, no, actually, I'll probably meet you over at the at the shop first, and we'll just take a look at all the equipment that we have. So I'll see you guys over there. Oh, incidentally, I wanted to tell you guys, too, that I did go back to using the bale pickup uh, without the spikes for the silage. Uh, my dad pointed out to me in the comments that I was ruining the silage bales. I know the game doesn't care. Uh, but I got to thinking, you know, let's just, if we're going to do it, let's do it right. And so uh, this actually, this little thing's not too bad for picking them up either. In some ways, it's almost easier to use than the spikes. Um, and I was going to tell you one other thing, too. Um, you guys may have noticed that I've added, uh, put some pretty nice uh, or pretty cool tunes in the in the uh, videos. Uh, I have a subscription to Epidemic Sound, uh, and if you don't know what that is, it's basically a, a music licensing uh, company where I pay for a, a monthly subscription, and then I have you know music that I can use copyright free on my channel. And they have a you know, pretty good sized you know country music library. And so uh, if you guys are ever interested in, uh, if you hear a song that you really like and you want to link to it, I always put the links to um, my songs in the video description so you can find that down below. Uh, so I just wanted to let you know that. All right, let's drop that thing off and back this up just a little bit. And we got some dude there that wants, just wants to get run over. I don't know about these guys, man. I don't want to run into our baler. Okay, let's drive on down to the shop here and take a look at the equipment that we're going to use. I'm excited, man. We're going to be able to use some of the higher higher end haying equipment. Woohoo! Anybody coming? Nope. Okay, let's go. All right, let's just park our tractor right over here. We should be good enough. And we'll hop out. And take a look and see what we got here. All right, so we got a big Kloss tractor. Nice. It's rented by me. Uh, we got a the crow. Oh, this thing's gonna be nice, you guys. Uh, the, what this thing does is it cuts the hay and uh, makes the windrows at the same. Well, wait a minute, doesn't it? Oh, it does. But you know what though? We still have to tet it though first. Uh, right, because this is a hay contract, not a, a thingy, not a uh, a thingy, not a, uh, oh my gosh, what am I trying to say, silage. Uh, but this is the bale pickup, and uh, this is the thing that I've, I've been kind of wanting to get, but it's just really expensive. And then it looks like we have a Pottinger, well, wait a minute though, this has a wrapper on it. Okay, hold on, let's look at that contract again. Bale grass wrap. Oh, this is a silage. Okay, perfect. Absolutely perfect. Because silage we can do a lot more quickly and we get more money than hay anyways. Okay, so cool. So what this thing's going to do is it's going to make the windrows for us automatically. Um, And then, I mean, I don't even think we need this. Do we? What do we need this for? If this is going to make the windrows. Not really sure. Huh. 
Okay, well, cool. Um, so we're gonna hop into here. We'll we'll use the tractor later. We're gonna hop into this machine. Uh, if I can figure out how to get into it. <laughs> um, here? Oh yeah, there we go, okay. Oh, this is awesome, you guys. This is awesome. See now, one of the, one day I'm gonna own one of these for myself, um, definitely, and you know all the the top end haying equipment. Uh, but of course that day's not yet, <laughs> not today, but someday. Oh, this is so cool. Okay, what's it look like in the cockpit? Oh yeah, baby, I love it. I absolutely love it. Uh, okay, so let's take a look at our map here. I have to remember what button to press because I've changed everything up here. Um, and it's this big field 71 right here. So as you can see, it is an enormous field. It's by far going to be the largest field that we've done so far. And, uh, so we are here, so we should be able to just pop out and then head down this highway to get to the field. All right, let's do it. Let's do this. This is fun, man. Man, I'm loving this game. I can't tell if anyone's coming or not. Hope not. <laughs> if they are, my my vehicle's bigger than theirs. Oh boy, can we fit underneath this overpass? Uh, yeah, I think we'll be okay. Yeah, we're good. Okay. <laughs> You always want to check stuff like that. For sure. Okay, I think this is our field here. Let me just double check. Yeah, this is the field. So, I think, yeah, I think we'll just start in here and... This is a fairly gradual turn, so we'll give it a try. Uh, whoops, wrong button. There we go. Okay, so let's see. I gotta figure this out, man. First you need to unfold the... Okay. Oh, this thing is a, a beaut. Okay, so now they're unfolded. Now what do we do? It's not, it's not lowering based upon my key mappings. So why is the lower option not working? Okay, hold on. Let's check this out. Uh, I'm going to have to, you know, adjust things as we go along because there was just so much to do here. Uh, getting things going, right? Um, but if we go to... I wonder if if it's talking about this stuff here because that's all more harvester stuff. Okay, so let's go back and I'm using my stick now. That's the that's the camera part. Okay, that doesn't do anything. Hmm. All right, let's go back in here. We'll figure it out. Might take us a little while, but we'll figure it out. Okay, so we tried all of that stuff, so I guess that doesn't apply. Yeah, we got to go back up here. I'm still trying to figure out where all this stuff's at. Okay, so a lower tool. Oh, you know what? I've, I I did. Okay, I changed something and forgot to remap it. Okay, so let's map that to 21 on the side deck and save it. There we go. Uh, oh, okay. It just takes a little while for them to all load. 
Okay, this is it, guys. Let's do this. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Uh, I should actually try and see how much of this grass I can get. Oh, um, doesn't this windrow? Okay, hold on. Let's look at the help. Turn off mower, change, toggle, select camera. Oh, maybe this doesn't windrow. I thought that it did. Well, that would explain why we have the the rake or the t or uh, yeah, the windrower. Lift mower fold. Yeah, there's no option on here. Select work mode widespread. Oh, no, there is work mode. Okay. So how do I change work mode? The selected work mode is widespread. Okay, I uh, I had to uh, step away from the computer in real life for a minute there. So, stop engine, fold mower, lift mower, turn off mower. Okay, let's go back in here and see if I can figure out what work mode is. Change driving direction, steering mode, interact. Rotate. There's so many controls in this game. It's just crazy. Switch to next vehicle. Toggle tip side dump. Change bail side turn tools off on. Open close cover. Fold all tools. Unload. Toggle work. Toggle work mode here. Okay. Uh, so this looks like it's a right stick button and L3 on my wheel. Uh, I don't think I have a. But, oh, actually, you know what? I think I do have a button available still on my side panel. It's this one right here. Boom. It's, for those of you who are familiar with the panel, that's the red button on the on the stick. Okay, so let's save those controls. Uh, it doesn't seem to be doing anything. Did I uh, forget to save it? Toggle work mode. Satex side panel control deck. That's what I did. But it's not doing anything. All right, let's try the one on the wheel. Well, what's the keyboard command for toggle work mode? Maybe we'll just do it from there. Control Y. Yeah, that's not changing anything either. Is it be, do I have to have, okay. Do I have to have these turned off? Oh yeah, okay. So I guess you have to have the tools turned off. Left swath, right swath, wide spreading, swath dropping. I'm assuming that's the one that we want. Oh, yeah, because it puts, like, little flaps over the... Here, watch the the side mowers. Oh, that is neat! Okay. Okay. Awesome. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to lift those guys up. It takes a little bit longer for the side ones to lift up. Let's back up a little bit so we can... Start this again and make sure everything's swathed. Cool. Okay. Lower down. And let's try this again. Here we go. Put our cruise control on. Oh my goodness, this thing goes fast! Holy crap! <laughs> um, I I can't believe how fast this thing's going. You know what? Let's slow it. Let's slow down just a little bit. All right, hold on. I gotta adjust my my cruise. That's that's just a little too fast, man. Let's knock it down to maybe 12 miles an hour. Okay. Try 
trying to get the right steering going here. I'm going to hit the stuff on the side too, but let's let's just do the main field first. Alright guys, we are getting close here, so just right in the center of the field, and then we're going to hit the, out, uh, the outside edge too. But what I've been trying to do, sort of, kind of, is use the X pattern that my dad was telling me about in the comments, where you, instead of getting to the corner and then backing up and relining up, you just kind of keep going around, and then you do like a diagonal cut on both corners of the field at the end to get the stuff that you miss. So, uh, but this isn't a, you know, a perfectly square field, first of all. Secondly, um, yeah, I <laughs> haven't done it on every corner. Uh, so now what we're gonna do, uh, since we're over here, we might as well go ahead and hit this line here. We might have to, yeah, we'll probably have to come around and grab that one little piece there. You know, just doing this brings back uh, memories, you know, of, of when I was younger. Because so I spent a lot of time around Alpha, Alpha in particular, but also Grass Hay too. And just doing this, the, the smell of, of the hay comes back. To me it's really cool <laughs> i'm so much enjoying this game you guys i should have started playing this game years ago uh but better late than never right okay so let's go to uh finish out the center here and then we also have a couple other corners that we have to do the x thingy in, in too but man i'll tell you what this is like the emperor of lawnmowers this thing is absolutely awesome. <laughs> I love it. Oh, man, I'm so much enjoying myself right now. Okay, so let's uh, just finish out this last little triangular piece here. Just flip this around like so. Normally, I probably would want to lift the mower when I was doing that in, a, in the real world, but I don't think the game cares so much. All right, now let's do this diagonal. It's sort of kind of a diagonal. <laughs> Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to go start right here-ish. And we're going to see how far off the field we can mow, too. That's just going to be gravy for us, man. It looks like it's letting us go a full width, at least. Oh, not quite. Okay. But, you know, we'll get, we'll get a whole other windrow all the way around, and the longest one at that by doing this. I don't know how many more bales that's going to be, but these are thick windrows too, so yeah. This should be great. Okay, now let's cut and do our diagonal line. There isn't really anything for us to cut on this end in, in, anyways, it looks like. I mean, well, I guess, I don't know. We could get a little bit. That might be worth it. Okay, what we're going to do here, I did a really wide turn, so we're going to grab that and we're just going to back this one up and get this other piece.
you know, these harvesters, um, you know, this is essentially a, a hay harvester. They have the back steering, so, so it's a little bit different, you know, than the tractor pulling something behind as far as, you know, the timing of the steering and all of that. And I'm still trying to get used to my new wheel setup and all that too, so. Okay, cool. So what we're going to do is cut the power and lift everything up. Did you do the lift? There you go. Okay, now let's go over back this way. We've already hit that edge, so there isn't anything more we can do there. Um, yeah. Well, actually, once we get past the trees, we should be able to pick up a decent amount of hay. So let's just start here. Oh, that's cool how it kind of, the left implement kind of hugs the ground, too. There's probably a way for me to just lower the left one and not the right one, but I'm not sure how to do that. Oh, yowzers. <laughs> I was just about to hit the tree. See, now once we get back over here, then we'll be able to get the full... Well, as far as it'll let us go, anyway. Oh, wow, this one goes... Well, okay, not quite. I was going to say, this one goes all the way out. It did for a moment there. Okay, let's just see how far into this corner it'll let me go. Oh, that's it. Okay. All right, that is it, you guys. How fun, man. I really enjoyed running this thing for the first time. We're definitely going to get ourselves one of these when we can. It's going to be a while, though. I think this sucker <laughs> is a lot. hundreds of thousands of dollars. I don't know exactly how much it is, but it's expensive. Okay, so we're going to head back to the shop and grab the baler. There's no reason to bring the windrower out here at all. I guess they probably gave it to you just in case you screwed up and did the whole thing without doing the wind rowing like I started to do until I caught myself. Um, so let's actually uh, look at the map here for a second. Okay, so we are here. Yeah, we should be able to just take this road all the way down and then cross over uh, to the shop to get the next thing. So that is what we will do. Whoops. All right, I'll see you guys at the shop. And we are back. Uh, turn that off. And turn that off and cut the engine. Fantastic, man. That was fun. Okay, we're not done yet, though. We are not done yet. We're going to have to give this thing a, a shower. All right, now, next thing is to grab the baler. Uh, so let's get in this claws. Claws? Is that how you pronounce that? Claws or claws? tractor and this is a big boy tractor listen to that engine purr man all right Ooh, yeah that sounds good it has has a deeper rumble to it than our tractor all right let's back up to here and we'll get in the cab and do it this way now this baler is a, a baler and wrapper like the one we have, but I think it's it's got a higher capacity for larger bales. And uh, so we're going to want to put it on the, the max capacity. 
okay, I gotta think. Where are we? Yeah, we gotta go this way. This tractor doesn't seem to have... Yeah, it doesn't seem to have the turning radius that ours does. That's interesting. Very interesting. I got a bit of a blind spot. I can't see if someone's coming. Well, hopefully no one's coming. Should probably put my turn signal on in case the police are watching. All right, here we go, man. Our first time in a in a big tractor. This episode is a, an episode for first. And the best thing about it all is we're going to bring in a nice little chunk of change by the time it's uh we're all done with this job. I was thought, thought about stopping for a taco, but it's 7.30 in the morning. I don't typically eat tacos at 7.30 in the morning. <laughs> and I think we're going to start on this end, and this time we're going to go counterclockwise. No particular reason. That's just the way we're going to do it. Okay, now... Before we get going here, uh, I have to look up the command for changing bale size. I don't have that mapped to my my stick. You, there, there's just too many commands to map everything, you know. Um, so I know, yeah, change bale size. L. Okay. That's also the one for tension belts, though, too. What is it on uh, on here? Change seeds, change bale size. It's right stick button and R3. Okay, so let's bring up the help menu. Oh, I guess it just told us right in the help menu. 180 centimeter. Yeah, okay, so we're going to make the big bales 180 centimeter. And um, I, hmm, I have to assume that that... Uh, bale picker up or thingy can handle that we should probably check that let's go into the store for a minute okay so we want to find um, mowers no not mowers animals if we go to packages and we go to hay we should be able to find it in here right no that's not it that's the uh, no, we don't want hay, we want silage. Silage, gra or probably grass. No, we don't have any of that stuff either. Okay, so the trailer for the hay is going to be under tools. Cultivators, rollers, grassland care, maybe? Or mowers, tedders, windrowers, forage wagons, balers, bale loaders. That's what we want. Okay, so this is what we're going to use is this Anderson thing, which is what I, I want to buy. Um, and yeah, and it can handle up to 180 centimeter bales. Okay, so we're good to go. We are good to go. All right, so let's go ahead and start this thing up. And lower the, the lift. And I, I don't know what this is rated for cruise control wise, so let's just see what it does. <coughs> Keep in mind too, man, this is the small windrow because we got it did it on the edge. Wait till we get into the big thick ones in the field, then we're really gonna rock this. Now the other thing too, isn't this supposed to be what's called a fast baler, which means I don't have to stop? I guess we're going to find out here in a little bit. It doesn't have a mode, does it? No, it doesn't. Okay. Yeah, it's still picking up. Oh, wait, no, sorry. It hasn't dropped the bell yet. Okay, now what's it doing? No, 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 we got to stop. Okay. Oh, all right. We're missing something else because 
uh, it needs to wrap too. So turn off baler, change bale size, lift pickup. Why isn't it wrapping? Here, let me get out here. So if we do unload, hmm, can you not wrap 180 centimeter bales? Is that what the problem is? All right, let's switch back to 125 and see what happens. I'm guessing maybe we can't do the big ones as silage. I don't know, though. Let's see what happens here. Okay, let's see if this one wraps. It hasn't wrapped, so I'm doing something wrong. Um, maybe there is a mode change on this. But the, the other thing told us that. So if I hit the mode button, it doesn't do anything. Unload round bell, turn on automatic drop, change cruise control speed, activate cruise control. All right, let's look at the contract. Does it tell us anything about that? Mow and grass fields in one, then bale the grass and wrap it to make silage bales. Take the bales to the biogas plant. Hmm. We'll try, we'll try this on the next one. Okay, so now what we're going to do... Oh, no, that is a small one. So, oh, I know what happened. All right, so here's the deal. I changed the size of the bale, but it looks like it had already started the large bale. So that's what's going on. Okay. What we're going to do then is... I'm going to try the middle size bale just so I learn myself if you can do the middle size bale. Because obviously you can't do the large size bale. And, you know, if it doesn't work, that's fine. We'll just have three extra bales of grass that we'll probably just sell straight up. Because we haven't even gotten into the actual field hay yet anyway, so we're good to go. This is a learning experience, man. I'll be smarter by the time I'm done with this job than I was before I started it. And that's the important thing. I'll keep telling myself that anyway. I think that's still the small one. Okay, so we're going to have to do one more. Okay, yeah, this is the bigger bale. Will it wrap it? It will. Hmm. Okay, so it looks like we can wrap 150 centimeter silage bales. Man, this thing bails so fast, I don't even barely have time to put the cruise control on before I have to stop it again. Nice problem to have, I guess. All right, guys, we are back, and we have completed the baling. And uh, the field still got a few spots, but I cleaned it up, uh, I think, reasonably well. Not, not like a pro, but, you know, hopefully enough to make, uh, what's his name? <laughs> um, Leroy Wilson happy with us. Uh, okay, so I guess the next step is to go let's shut the baler off there uh, go get the pickup baler pickup thingy um, when I was a kid we called those harrow beds 
so I don't know if that's just another name for the same thing or something different. But anyway, we'll go pick up the Harrow Bad thingy and start picking up these bales. Uh, I'm not sure what's going to happen with the different size bales, but you know, most of them are the 150 uh, centimeter bales, anyways. So let's go grab that and come on back and see how this works. <laughs> 